It's a Sunday, Sunday morning coming down, everybody. Two days before the midterm elections in the United States, I wanted to give you another Sunday sum up because my reading or my listening actually is connected to the midterms. Let's do this. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't read so much in the last couple of weeks. I am more into listening. I'm going to the gym when I can. I go there four or five, maybe six times a week. And what I do is I listen to books while I try to work out a little bit. And the book that I'm currently listening to is a chunky one. It's 613 pages. It came out, it was published in October in the beginning of October, and this is Maggie Haberman's book, Confidence Man, The Making of Donald Trump and the Breaking of America. I'm about 50% into that book now, almost 50, more 40 than 50 actually. And Maggie Haberman starts at the very beginning where many books that have been written about President Trump have started the moment he went down the escalator. He came down the escalator with his beautiful wife, what was her name again, Melania. Um, many books start there, but Haberman starts her book much earlier. It starts with the Trump family coming to the United States in the beginning of the 20th century, when his grandfather came from Germany and his father, Fred, built this real estate company that was worth a couple of hundred million dollars. And Haberman, in a very detailed way shows in that book how Donald Trump from the beginning, from the early beginning, of course, very much influenced by his father, was a man who was and who is very narcissistic, who needs affirmation all the time, who is, has his good sides. That's why he is so charismatic, Haberman says. But on the other side, there's the good Donald and there's the bad Donald. And you can't get the good Donald without the bad Donald. And the bad Donald is somebody she describes in that book very lengthily and with a lot of um, examples is a man who humiliates others, who is bullying other people all the time, who is very revengeful when once you have done something to him, he will get at you and try to destroy you. And he lies all the time. All the characteristics that the bigger world sort of realized when Donald Trump became candidate and then president for the United States of America were early present in his life. So there's not a man who has changed a little bit. He's actually always has been the one that we get. What you see is what you get. So this book is very detailed. It is very concise. It is very full with um, meetings with Donald Trump because Maggie Haberman, reporter for the New York Times, has met probably Trump so often as no other journalist has during these the last couple of years. See, both seem to be a very, very much obsessed with each other a little bit. Even Trump is obsessed with Maggie Haberman. He always talks to her. He always talked to her. And when, whenever she wrote something about him, he would call it fake news. But then he would reportedly come back to her and to tell her more, to reveal his true self, whatever. This is two days before the midterm elections, I think one of the most important uh, reads you can have, because this man, 76 year old now, is going to probably run for president again in 2024. And the party that he represents is a party that denies the results of the last election. And even if this party is going to lose Tuesday's election, that means if they don't get the majority in the Senate and in the House of Representatives, they will claim that this new election, which takes place on Tuesday, again, is an election that is fraud. And whenever you lose, it is fraud. Whenever you win, it is correct. Otherwise, it's just fraud. That's the way American democracy has become. It has become so divided. I saw recently a German television reporter who is a correspondent for the German television in Washington, D.C., and he went across the United States. He went to Michigan. He went to Arizona. And in Arizona, he met a woman who is from the Republican Party. She is an editor of a newspaper in Arizona. And she, in that 
TV documentary, she tells the German reporter that actually, she says, I was against the death penalty until, well, until these days right now. And now I think we have to to really statue it and to make an example of some people because the times have been so have become so bad and so worse. And I think that probably, she says, in a very normal tone, she says, I think the Clintons should be beheaded. And that's a moment when I said, okay. She says that in such a neutral tone, such a normal sounding tone, that it's really uh, one of the most horror-filled moments that I saw in the last couple of weeks, in the last couple of months. So on Tuesday, I think democracy is at stake, not only in the United States, where you guys have the midterms, but also in large parts of the world. Because if this goes wrong, and if the United States, they already speak, the, 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 some Republicans already speak about the United States not being a democracy, but being a constitutional republic. And they have sort of skipped the word democracy for good reason, I think. And well, anything can happen. And anything can happen in this world where we have huge inflation, where we are running towards a confrontation with China sooner or later, probably, hopefully later than sooner. And where these models of democracy, of autocracy, are competing with each other in a way that we, my generation, when we grew up, actually never thought was possible. So this book by Maggie Haberman, The Confidence Man, The Making of Donald Trump and the Breaking of America is very timely and a very important read, I think, not only for people in the US, but also outside, because the tendencies are here and there and everywhere, unfortunately. The tendency against democracy and towards totalitarianism. This is my reading for this week. I will start a lot of other books very soon. I will make a TBR for the end of the year. It's actually residing here on this table and I was clapping on it. So you will get this list uh, during the course of the week from me in another video. And you will also get the books in October that I found were interesting and were important to me. So I see you soon on this channel. And I hope that you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so, you help a lot by doing so. And you get each new video in your algorithm and comment on the video. I will answer all the comments. I'm pretty behind two weeks now or to three weeks. I will answer all the comments in the next couple of hours, I promise. So I see you soon here. Take care, have a good read and bye-bye.